Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. My man Hans has done it again. There is a new radio out from QRP Labs, and this is the QMX. Let's take a look. This is the five band, five watt digital transceiver. And this, if you have been following any of the QRP Labs kits for a while, this will be right at home for you. This is the QCX, which is a mini CW radio, and the QDX, which is a mini digital radio, and they're all combined into one. So on this channel, I have built the QCX. There is going to be a link in the description down below for that series. I have also built the QDX and as you guessed it, there will be a link in the description down below for that series. And then as a group of us over on the Toads Discord, we all got another QDX when I think it was version four came out and we all built that one together. And since then, Hans has made a single band QDX and a high band QDX. So you have to collect all of these things at this point. And then you're gonna have to label them somehow because on the outside, they're just black boxes. Hard to tell which one is which. This kit looks very similar to the way the QCX was built, has kind of this jigsaw puzzle-like configuration. And I am a big fan of that. They there is the sandwich where you get the LCD screen and the control surface and then the radio board beneath that. This is what it looks like from the top down. You can buy this without a case, but frankly, the case is pretty cheap. Unless you have something special that you're trying to do to embed this, I just go ahead and get the case. You can see here, this board is your control surface board and then this outer board with the LCD slides down over top of it. So there's a little bit of clearance issues and it's kind of neat how it goes together. I was pretty impressed. Kind of, kind of like a work of art. I always say that hands makes work of art radios. With the case on, on this side, you can see that we've got a USB connection for cat control and sound in and out. And then we have PTT to send your signal over to an amplifier. And then Hans also sells the amplifier that goes with us, the QCX PA. As you guessed it, I have one of those and there is a link in the description down below for that build series. And then the RF port, another view of that. And then this is the radio without the LCD board on top. You can see there's a bunch of toroids for your low pass filters. And this is your BS 170s here for your final amplifier. You have a key port and this is a speaker port. A whole bunch of really neat stuff going on in here. This looks like it'll be pretty interesting. That looks like, that looks like a USB-C connector. Next thing you know, he's going to have an HDMI port. If you have not built a kit from Hans before, Hans has fantastically, amazingly awesome detailed instructions. It's going to be really hard for you to mess this up. And luckily, if you do even come close to messing it up, you can get these parts like right off the shelf, super easy. I mean, the BS-170 finals, you can get a bag of 50 of them for like $5, and then it's going to be like $8 shipping. It's, it's crazy. Some of the features, 80, 60, 40, 30, and 20 meter bands, CW and FSK digital modes, all features of QCX Mini, BFOA, B, Split, RIT, Message and Frequency Memories, Beacon and Keyer. He doesn't say, but the QCX Mini does have a CW decoder built in. Five watt output and nine volt supply. You can build it either way. There's a reason why he did nine volts. So either put a buck converter in or build it for nine volts. Probably easier, in my mind, it's easier to put a buck converter in if there's room inside the case. And that way your entire shack runs on 12 volts and you don't accidentally plug something in where it doesn't belong. I've never done that. SWR bridge built in, so it'll tell you your SWR of your antenna, single signal transmission, zero unwanted sideband, zero residual carrier, zero intermodulation distortion, solid state band switching and transmit receive switching under cat control, high performance embedded SDR SSB with 60 to 70 dB of unwanted sideband cancellation, nice. Built in 24 bit, 48 kilo samples per second USB sound card, built in USB virtual com serial port for cat control, 5351 synthesized VFO with 25 megahertz TCXO as standard. That used to be an option on the QCX. I have never built one without that. Can't tell you how much better or worse it works without it, but I'm sure it works better with it. Easy to build single board design, professional quality, six layer, through hole plated silk screen, printed PCBs, all SMD components, factory assembled. This is kind of an important thing here. Basically, he's trying to make it easy for you to get the kit built and take care of about 90% of the work for you. And yours comes down to putting the last final puzzle pieces on. So that way it's still, you know, you still have a hand in it and feel like you've done something. 2.1 millimeter power barrel connector. So you can go on Amazon and get a 5521 is how you would search for that and it would come back. You might be able to shove a 5525 in there if you already have like an ICOM 705 or any of the MFJ pieces of kit. And that's what I have been using to power all my other QCX devices, QDX devices, QSTAR X devices. Built in test generators and testing tools. This is another cool thing that Hans does with his kits is makes it really easy for you to figure out what might have went wrong somewhere. 80 milliamps on receive. Transmit is one to 1.1 amps for five watt output with nine volt supply, 0.7 amps for five watt with 12 volt supply. So it's a little more efficient on 12 volts. Optional case. You can also buy this thing fully built. Let's take a look at the shopping cart. 
So you can do assembled or kit. Assembly is $50. That's really not a bad deal. And then you can get it with the Rev3 enclosure, which is 20 bucks. Again, not a bad deal. And then you can add a couple of extra kits here along with it. Add to cart. Oh, I accept that there will be a wait time because this is a pre-order. Hans brought about 500 of these to Dayton and I believe they all sold out. $165 for the package deal. That is that is not bad for what all this radio does. If you're, if you're a QRP guy and you're a kit guy, you will not be unhappy if you get this. All right, so I just wanted to share with you the fantastic news that there is a new radio in town. And uh, hope you guys get in on the land rush and get yours. Otherwise, there's a video right Otherwise, there's a video right here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.